Rock Bottom Coins are the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, Vox here. So, this is going to be kind of like a, a prep about the week ahead, since we know we have the Zero Chill promo on the way on Thursday. Um, I want to talk about that. Obviously, Market Monday will cover a lot more of the financial aspects of in-game economics and what you should be looking to doing. We'll cover that very briefly in this as we, you know, kind of have to tie everything into the market since that's basically but right? Everything that you want in this game is gotten through some way of either earning it and then buying it off the block or randomly pulling it if you're really lucky. Specifically, the limited. I Like, I don't know why EA is so freaking dumb about limiteds. If, like, it's not in a TVP pack, it's going to be a million coins plus, like, two trillion extra. Like, I don't know why, like, it, it makes no sense they're, how they're this bad at their job. Like, the economist got to go, right? Like, they're so dumb. They're so out of touch. It's terrible. 2.2 million on day two in packs. Brutal. And he's not even worth, like, half that, right? He, he's probably worth around 600k as far as how good he is because everyone's edge projectors. Edge threat, double or nothing on the edge. Those don't matter. Double or nothing in the middle. It's okay still, but... Anyways, let's get off of our uh, sandbagging of the uh, economist because uh, how bad they are, and let's get on to zero chill prep and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna go through zero chill. We're gonna go through like what the strategy you want to have, and obviously we'll do more of these videos as zero chill starts to reveal itself. We do expect zero chill obviously Thursday, and then I, I don't think we have any content coming tomorrow. I expect zero chill to kind of either fill the gap between Monday or Tuesday because you know team of the week generally goes away during december since ea takes some time off during december um they come back in january and make it up in team of the week so one of those two days we'll probably get a portion of zero chill remember last year we had um what five wait five scheduled releases of zero chill then we also had don't forget past present and future ghosts you know those had like you know we got a bunch of limiteds and stuff presence had the same thing um so Really like a Thursday and then some other Zero Chill content coming out. Legends obviously keep continuing on to Saturdays going forward. Um, but they seem to like Thursdays for the for the big promos going forward. I know there's that there's that rumor out there right now that Season 3 is not on its way um, until later. So just FYI, you know, the Matthew Barry investment might be, might be bunk uh, for those that have finished Season 2. There might be like a Zero Chill season along with obviously the Comp Pass. Talk about the Comp Pass. Definitely recommend if you have those 78s and 80s, getting them out your binder. Um, you know, get into your binance tonight, out tomorrow, uh, to sell them. If you recall, like, here's the thing, even if you can't get on tomorrow at server change, just, like, put up your cards for, like, eight hours, expiring, you know, within, like, the first half hour or so after it changes or whatever you want to do, um, as far as timing, and then just, like, overprice them a bit so you can get a little bit more money. So that way you can take advantage of that and then circle back around when you get home from school or work and, uh, sell off the rest of your investments. You're not going to get as much later on in the day, but it's still going to be more, than it is than you can find sniping today i know the market's kind of caught on to that a little bit so just fyi don't overpay for cards i mean but that should just be go without saying don't pay for cards more than they've gone for historically so we've been over that tip a lot though i'm not going to go forward that that's more of like a market tip um i do want to talk about this 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 promo if you guys recall there are presents in the promo and i want to i want to talk about these presents since they're kind of a big deal, right? On the 25th. This, these are what the presents were last year, along with, obviously, the extra large um, Derrick Henry, Isaiah Simmons, Ricky Williams. Mar like, these were incredible. Like, Derrick Henry was the best card of Madden 22 by like a mile. He was insanity, right? He had Slinger 1. Ricky Williams was very good, too. But you know, running backs get replaced a lot. Isaiah Simmons was like the best user for a long time. Marlon Humphrey was just, you know, good at his job. Um, so overall, like the XL presence, because like they put the XL presence back in packs a few days later, it was an absolute waste of coin in training. So the best, the best way to attack presence when we get them potentially Thursday, well, probably Thursday, like 99% chance. I, I think it was definitely the best value was the small eighties because of how little you had to put in to get that. And plus like the plus 80 plus the plus actually meant something last year. So we got a lot of pluses. Um, these things ended up being a lot more expensive, especially like Redux, the, li the Lively Large. The extra, these, these named ones were really rare. And like Reduxes were cool, Team League Masters were cool, but like you were pulling those out of like mediums sometimes too. So I don't know, don't underrate small and mediums going forward as far as um, the presents. But here is what they were last year. A 93 plus choice present out of a, out of a, a large black. So 
I think we'll talk about this more as the, the presence kind of continue down there. Um, extra large purple, um, Blitzmaster card, Bo Lamar. So just FYI, a lot of like, 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 here's the thing. Thanksgiving, big cards, probably going to tank on the 25th. Okay. 93 plus a lot of top end. 25th is a great buy day. Um, and I, I know it was, I said, I wasn't going to talk too much about the market, but we might as well talk about it right now. Um, we'll, we'll talk about more of this tomorrow. So you see training right now, anywhere between five and 6.9. Nice. Ah, shoot. I don't have it turned on. Nice. But anyways, we do expect a little bit of a training demand increase. Now, obviously we knew last week going into all Madden rerolls that there was going to be training demand for the new 94s. Cards went down in price because people saw all the new 94s. They sold off their old cards for a ridiculously cheap price. Hopefully, you guys will be able to take advantage of that blitz and slight after blitz market um, uh, jobbing before the all Madden 84 plus reroll uh, kind of took that market and took this market and brought it up about 20%, I think is what I saw. Markets up between like, it was like 4.5 to 5. Obviously, you can get it cheaper um, through ways, but and now we're up just like, you know, these are always like, these are always the overpriced prices, FYI. Uh, for those who don't know, some people don't know. These are the overpriced prices. These are the unfiltered prices. So you can always find training cheaper than what I have listed here. So what I'm trying to say is market is up significantly from like 4.5 to 5, up over 6. Some obviously you can find cheaper still, but that's generally where it's at. Up a good a good amount so far. We do expect more demand to training uh, to take place with presence roles. And like if you guys look at historically, and, and like I, maybe I'm taking away too much of Market Monday, like we look at last year's training prices, like this was like the fifth. So today's like the fourth, right? Today's like the fourth. Last year, nine, ten, fifth, kind of went down a little bit. Uh, but then once we had like the launch of the winter promo, which was wrong one, the ninth, the ninth when we saw the training value go up. Um, so at the ninth, we got it up. It was still at seven, eight. And then, the, as, oh, maybe because, yeah, did they add the roll right away or did it take them a few days? Maybe it took them a few days to add. The training i think there was a training role added maybe a little bit later and so we're seeing training here even on the 13th at 7 14th here now up to 10 okay so it did take a few days i think a, a few things had to happen for it to really increase from uh what happened right away last year did you see by the 16th we got up over 10 last year now uh, you know i'm not saying exact same thing's gonna happen but going from what we had on the the fifth or whatever it was um uh, from eight up over uh, a week later just over a week later up to 10 11 so that's an increase of 20 percent again on the market um all the way up until like december 24th we get 11 to 12 again and then the 25th when the big crash happened in the morning we got down to eight nine uh, a little bit later in the morning still at eight to nine so it went down that 20 percent or so there was a lot of deals happening so fyi there are some uh, uh pretty decent market shifts 20 percent or more on cards um so you guys are gonna be seeing a little bit of like whoa market's up whoa market's down uh but like i know a, a lot of people know to buy on december 25th you just got to target the right uh overalls and things that are actually in presence itself so there you go, right? Like buying Team of the Week MasterCards when they came out. It's not just money, it's MasterCards. I don't know the friggin'. Never mind. Forget my boomer reference. Reduxes, that kind of thing. Those things Those things got into the mud. But otherwise, with zero chill, uh, we got new uh, currency snowflakes. Uh, there Last year, you had to like roll training into players to get snowflakes, then to roll presents, if I recall correctly, right away. There was something like that um uh and they may have added i'm thinking either 21 or 22 now but ea could get a little funky on training and screw us but hopefully they don't hopefully they realize this is the season of cheer and to give us pretty like okay value on things um you can earn snowflakes from solos from logins that kind of stuff house rules there was some really cool oh they screwed tj Watt last year that was this is an embarrassing card 88 block shit 93 finesse move that was so bad i hated ea i i thought i had a pretty angry one we had like, you know, funny things last year, ugly sweaters and, and, and you know, stuff you got from that. I'm not really going to go over this that much because it's kind of like, you know, last year and so things will change a little bit. But Cordero Patterson, this card was actually insane uh, because of its abilities that were built in. And it was like incredible because it was free from house rules and uh, it was usable for so long because of the abilities. It's too bad human joysticks broke on next gen, but that was kind of cool. Um... 
Yeah, we had obviously we had sets and stuff. Uh, those are always in the in the game, no matter what happens. Ornaments we got. Um, again, the, the game's gonna the the the, the, the promo's gonna rhyme. It won't exactly repeat, but it will rhyme with each other. So I'll link this this uh, uh, article in the description of this video. You guys can go ahead and read it. Uh, but like, really, it's it's basically a big promo with presents, which is like really fun, um, and then a lot of stuff to do around it. A lot of things happening, uh, but it's all flavored around the winter promo. I expect Sean Taylor to come out. Maybe he's gonna be the uh, winter promo. Um, a big card from the, the the season pass or whatever. Uh, but that's kind of it. We'll get out of positions probably too, which I know all of us hate. Um, but uh, we do need tall DBs in the game. So Megatron's probably coming back. Uh, we might get another Isaiah Simmons type card too uh, for the winter promo. That's kind of an insane user. That's what I wanted to go through today a lot. We get Ryan Fitzpatrick coming tomorrow. I have no idea why he's getting another card already as the comp pass guy. Um, and where is that link? Let's just go to the, the, their, their channel. I like, he's already got like a card that's okay as it is. Um, and then he's getting another card for S's and G's. Wait, I went to the wrong thing. Let's go to this, this side. Okay, 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 whatever. Um, yeah. He gets okay abilities. He's basically like, Good. Right, free and good for a lot of people that have A Rod training. Right, I think A Rod's gonna be better than him. Um, for abilities, he gets a uh, Gunslinger, Fearless, Set Feet Lead, High Raw Master. So five AP probably for Set Feet Lead and High Raw Master, uh, which I feel like is the killer duo, the best duo this year um, to have with those for your quarterback. So it's five AP, very similar to the quarterback Kurt Warner we got this weekend. Uh, basically a faster Kurt. Not bad, you know. Kurt's going for like six hundred K ish when I last saw him. Uh, I don't know what he's at right now, but for a free card, yeah, not bad at all. You're going to see a lot more high master set fee leads out there than you saw before. Um, unless you're at high elo, then everybody's already using it. That's all I want to talk about. See you tomorrow on Market Monday. Bye.